the one thing that I always emphasize, you've got to be the best that you can be. Now, maybe you can't be an All-American or All-Conference player, but you can be the best that you can be. And so that spring we decided, and I was thinking back to our platoon days at Cincinnati, and the Chinese bandits, of course. So we picked out the 11 best athletes we had on our team, and LSU always wore white and gold britches, white pants, I mean white jerseys. And so our first team became the white team. And that was made up by some very fine athletes because that was Billy Cannon at left halfback, Johnny Robinson, who was an outstanding right halfback, and had Billy Cannon not been here, Johnny Robinson might have won the Heisman Trophy because uh, Johnny is such a great athlete and a great young man. And the fullback was Red Broadnax from up in Bastrop. He was the only one not from Baton Rouge. And uh, the uh, quarterback was Warren Rabb, who had played right here, a high school player. And so that was our white, our first team was our white team. What was left, we took out the best you know, it takes a different kind of an athlete to play offense than it does defense. Offense, I always figure, is kind of square, and defense is kind of wild and round. But nonetheless, it became very obvious that uh, we had some people that could play offense, but they couldn't play defense. And so we picked out the 11 best offensive players, and they became the gold team, which was shortened down to the go team. And then what was left over became the Chinese bandits. The 11 best defensive players we had left became the Chinese bandits. So uh, they really, they were really a, a fun bunch and it's amazing how many of them, almost every single one of them have done so well in life. Of course that's, that entire 1958 team makes me proud of them every day when I see them because I mean we've got doctors and lawyers, I mean they're all doing extremely well. I've been very proud of them.